Hey guys, I'm Evan. Welcome to Country View Acres. So today we're going to be framing two new rooms in the pole barn over here in this area where we don't, haven't really done anything yet. So this area was intended to be more of like a kitchen area. Um, we were going to have a sink in here and areas to be able to food prep. Uh, stuff from our garden and just the food that we grow here on the property. But there's also two more rooms that's going to take up this space. So in this corner over here, this is going to be a half bathroom. This was always planned from when we built the pole barn. And we've actually got plumbing in the concrete ready for a sink and a toilet. And this leads out to the workshop. Now we've added an additional room. So this room was not planned, but we're going to add a solar power room in this spot right here. And it's going to it's going to keep all of the solar power equipment in here and then the power will distribute over to the house to power part of the house. It'll also be used in here to power freezers, lights, garage door openers, stuff like that. So this is basically going to be the center of our, our solar power when we put it all together. But we've been doing a ton of measuring today. We've been calculating the wall links, the studs, everything. We've got everything pre-cut out, we've got the floor all marked out, and we are ready to start framing up the walls and getting them stood up. The skitters. Okay. So we got our first two walls built, our two short walls. We got those stood up. We do have them plumbed and anchored to the floor. So now we got to build this long wall right here and um, we can't pre-build it and then stand it up. There's really just not enough room in here for that. So we're gonna build this one standing in place and uh, might be a little bit tricky, but that's what we're gonna do next. Now you can see that uh, this is gonna make kind of a long hallway along here and this, this may seem a little bit awkward, but our idea is we will probably put chest freezers along this wall and try to use the space for chest freezers as you walk in here to the, to the kitchen area. But uh, it's not ideal, but we're just trying to maximize the space that we have in here. So I'm just going to cut out where the door opening is leading into this room. Yeah, let's see if we can get our top board up here. That'll at least give us something to nail in between. Oh, 
Oh, sorry. Well, don't put my hand where you're going to kick, I guess. <laughs> Rebecca's got steel-toed boots on. My fingers, my fingers found out. Okay. Now I just got to attach the top. So we just finished up the framing. You can see we've got our doorway framed up here going into the solar power room. And then we also got the, the ceiling joist put in as well. So the next thing I want to focus on is the inside of the solar room. I want to get this room finished so that we can continue installing solar power on our property. So I bought some 5 8 inch plywood and that's what we're going to cover up three of the walls with. And that's going to give us a nice solid surface to be able to mount our equipment pretty much anywhere on the wall. And then I'm gonna cover the entire room up with drywall. Now I probably won't go to a ton of effort to try to make it look really good or try to finish it, but um, if we get a little paint on it and uh, cover up the screws a little bit, I think it's gonna make the room look fairly nice. But I'm not gonna go to a ton of effort trying to finish this drywall. So we got the plywood finished up yesterday and today I'm going to work on the drywall. So I've already got a few pieces cut out and I've pre-marked them. So I've got lines on here exactly that line up with the studs. So even though there's, there's plywood behind this, I'm still going to attach the drywall into the stud to make sure it's attached good. And then I added, I've got some uh, pieces of plywood under here just to raise it up off the ground. So it's just raised up, you know, five eighths of an inch to just keep it from contacting the concrete just in case there's any moisture. So I got out my old drywall screw gun. When we lived in town, we remodeled our whole house and um, did a lot of drywall back then. And this will be the first drywall we've actually, I've actually hung since we lived out here in the country. Our, our house is entirely wood. And um, honestly, I don't really like drywall. Uh, that much, but if this takes a strip of screws, hopefully you can see that, it takes a strip of screws that go in here, and it just auto feeds. Every time you, you screw it, it'll set the depth of the screw, and then loads the next one, you're ready to go. So it's real quick when you're installing drywall. Tight fit. Starting to feel pretty tight in here. Pretty small space. So I've got the first two rows of drywall hung and I've got about two feet left. But before I do that, I wanna go ahead, I wanna get the drywall on the ceiling. Now that's gonna be a little bit difficult. So I took some of the extra lumber and I made a couple braces. So when I hold the drywall up against the ceiling, 
we can swing these braces out and, and jam them in there and hold that drywall in place. And then that allow me time to be able to go ahead and screw those to the ceiling joists. But uh, Rebecca just got home, perfect timing. So hopefully I can get her out here. And while I hold that in place, she can, she can swing these braces out there and get the, the braces holding the drywall. And uh, it's probably gonna take a little bit of team effort to do the ceiling. Okay. Now I need you to grab that other brace. All right. Okay, now get the other side. Okay, there you go, man. So I got all the drywall hung and then I've spent the last couple hours cleaning this space and rearranging it. And Rebecca came out here, she helped me clean a little bit as well. So we can kind of show you how this is all gonna lay out and what our plans are for this area. So as you walk in, this is kind of a long hallway walking into the kitchen. Um, this is a fridge or a freezer. It's probably gonna go in a different location. Behind this door here, I really think we'll end up putting some kind of a shelving unit here to be able to store all of the different kitchen utensils and gadgets that we'll use out here. Now, in this hallway, it is wide enough. I think we can have some chest freezers here, so we will probably have one chest freezer here and then another one in this location. Of course, the solar power room, we just got done drywalling. It'll be right here if we ever need to access it. And then after that, we're gonna walk into the main area of the kitchen. Um, right here is where the sink is going to be. This is a 10 foot long sink. It's crazy long. It's got three big um, sinks inside of it. It'll be really nice to clean the, um, you know, any vegetables from the garden or, or you know, fruit from the orchard. And um, we picked this up at an, at an auction uh, of a grocery store going out of business. And we picked up several things that are stainless steel. And most of those things all need some type of repair. And the sink, it, it definitely needs some, some fixing up as well. But uh, over here, this is a rolling stainless steel table. It's got um, some drawers in it, but we'll, we'll be able to move this around and use it wherever we want. And then we've got a nice eight foot long table right here. And um, this was made for uh, meat slicers. It's got a really tall backsplash. And uh, we ended up buying a Hobart meat slicer from the grocery store as well and I have fixed this and it does work um, but we're also going to use this table for maybe uh, meat grinders and other big appliances to be able to use on this table. So as we come back here to the corner I've got one more stainless steel table and this this is like a meat cutting table it's got two big cutting boards they're in pretty rough shape it's supposed to have three it's actually missing the cutting board that's supposed to go on this side over here and this is probably a little bit big for this space. So we're, I think I'm planning on cutting this down so it's only as big as the two cutting boards. That'll make that, I think about what, five feet long, somewhere around that. And I still think that's gonna be a pretty good sized table to, to use. So this is what we have planned for the space. We do have a little bit of junk in this corner over here. There might be enough space left over where we might be able to get a very small walk-in like when I say very small, I mean like six by six, five by six, pretty small walk-in cooler, big enough to maybe hang uh, a, a pig that we may butcher or at least have some shelves to keep uh, different fruits and vegetables in. But uh, that would be a little bit down the road. This whole room is a little bit down the road. This is probably a project for 2024, but uh, just framing out the rooms today to kind of get everything laid out so that we can do our solar power this year. So I did end up ordering some more solar panels and they have shipped and I should get them this week. So um, I have all the hardware to be able to mount solar panels the whole length of the barn, one whole row, the whole length. We're gonna put them on this lower porch roof, okay? It's gonna be on this lower roof so it's easier to reach, easier to get to. And um, so we got that to do 
And then we've got, we're gonna end up getting a bunch of equipment to put in the room that we just built. And then we got to trench power from the pole barn. I got to trench power all the way over to here and in the basement of the house. And then after those three big projects, we will have solar power. And um, there'll be a lot of other little things to do, um, but th the majority of it will be done and uh, hoping to get that accomplished over the next month or two. And um, it's gonna be one of the goals marked off the list. So framing out those rooms today was just another, just another step in trying to achieve this year's goals. And um, it also kind of helped lay out everything for next year when we do that kitchen area. But I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. So I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.